Okay guys, we're going to make chicken pot pie today. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we poured a little bit of canola oil in the frying pan. I dumped in one medium onion. Now, once again with the onion, if you like your onion strong, you don't have to fry them. But if you want to give them a little bit of taste, you fry them up until they're brown. Spread them around a little bit, and uh, we'll fry those until they're brown. Our onions are done. See how nice I got those onions? Now we got our water boiling. That one there is for, for some eggs I'm doing because I'm making uh, tuna spread. But in here we're going to put our mushrooms, carrots, and celery. Okay, see here's my tuna spread. We're going to add some eggs to that. Now, we got our mushrooms. You know, let me raise you guys a bit. There we go, that's a little better, guys. Now, these, we're going to cut these. What's he doing down there? He's licking drywall. My dog's licking drywall. All the food I feed him, he got to lick drywall. You know, we're going to just cut these in bite-sized pieces. Matter of fact, maybe what I'll do with these, instead of boiling them, I'll fry them. I think that's better frying them. But the carrots and celery, those have to be boiled. I think what I'll do is I think I'll do this whole package of mushrooms. Yeah, I'm going to fry these. I think it'll give these mushrooms a better taste. Okay. We'll cut the rest of these up. Oh, that's a nice one. All right, that's good enough. Now let's get our celery. What if I have celery is okay, you know I like celery but not that much, so this is what I have left. I'm gonna throw this in. Throw that out.
and we'll throw these in a pot to boil for about a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Okay, same thing with the carrot. Long night. Throw that part out. And we'll throw that part out. Keep my hands away from this guy. I haven't cut myself in a long time. Keep it like that. Even the, even the tip of that knife is sharp. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm not going to risk cutting myself. I'm going to throw these in the pot just like this. Now, these carrots and the celery, we're going to boil them for 45 minutes. These, you only have to try these. See how they're shrinking? I would fry these up for... Probably about 10 minutes. These are just about done. Maybe maybe not even 10 minutes. Maybe about 8 minutes. So, because these are going to go in the, in the chicken pot pie. Where they're going to bake. I'll give you guys the baking time. I think these are good. Here, let's toy them around just a little more. Okay, these are ready to go in the pie. Right, so, so far we have our onions and our mushrooms are fried in canola oil. Now, we're going to put, I wonder, I wonder if I should put a bigger brush than that in. You know what, that's good, we'll put that in. So we'll cut these up. And those are actually two small breasts. Okay, we got a bigger bowl. Now we're also putting in one can of mixed vegetables. I believe this is a 15 ounce can. So, so far we have the mixed vegetables in the can, in the 15 ounce can. These are cooked already. We fried our mushrooms. Um, I'm putting more chicken in, guys. I'm cooking another chicken breast. And we fried a half of a large onion, and we're put. We're going to put in here uh, one big chicken breast or three small ones. So when that other chicken breast is ready, by the time that's done, the um, the carrots and the celery should be boiled. Hey guys, my veggies are finally done. So we're going to pour... We're going to put the veggies in here. And I'm saving my water. Because I have to make my dog some chicken breast. Alright, so we dumped... Our stuff in there. So I'm basically, I'm putting three small chicken breasts in. We'll 
boy it's hot shouldn't be right I just took it off the, the stove it's actually too hot to even cut so okay these up a little bit. Now instead of chicken condensed we're using mushroom condensed. So we're going to put in, this is 50, This is 10 and a half ounces, cream of mushroom condensed soup. And that is condensed too. Let me see if I can get the rest of that out of there. Waste not, want not. All right, guys, I think that's good. All right, we're going to mix it up real nice. And this is almost ready to bake. Okay, it's mixed up. Now I'm going to put a touch of garlic in this. And this is uh, minced garlic. There, that's good enough. Just a little bit of Italian seasoning in it. Okay. A little touch of chives. and a little bit of whole oregano. That's good enough. And we'll mix it up real good. Let me pause you guys. Okay. All right, now on to the next step. We got our pan ready. We made sure there's no mouse poop in it. It's clean. We're going to spray it down with some cooking spray so then our pie crust doesn't stick to it. Okay, got that sprayed up real nice. Now we'll get our bottom pie crust out. All right. They always stick right there. Always. I don't just don't understand why. You know what, I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. We'll patch it up a little bit.
Make sure everything's pressed into the corners. In case of it tears, you can repair it. And like I just repaired that one tear down there. Okay, I think we're cool, guys. I'm going to have to try my hand at a pie. I've never made a pie before. Okay. We're going to dump all that into there. Boy, is that look yummy. I can almost just eat it just like it is. side there a little bit. I gotta watch. I'm getting a little excited here about this. And I want to make this flat so it's nice and even. See, one thing about me, if, if I was in a biker club, I would be protected because I could turn a wrench and I can cook. And I can bake too. Okay, I think that looks pretty flat, guys. Now we're going to get our top one. Hey, that didn't stick there that time, like all the rest of them did. You know what I think I'll do? Yeah, I'm going to turn that in. Hey, you know what, I'll leave it like that. Press this down on the rim. Where is that rim at? There we go. Rim showing through now. OK, 
Okay, let's cut off. Now what we're going to do with the excess here first let's finish this guy here up what I'm going to do too is I'm going to cut this off here because we don't need that Okay, now let's go to design there. If I can find a fork. Let's put a little bit of design on it. And uh, yes, my hands are clean, guys. I sanitized them after I went to the bathroom. Before I put those on, let's poke some holes in here. Good enough. Darn. It's not working, guys. I wanted to make like a little crisscross there. And it's not working out. I shouldn't bust the flour out to do this. I have flour, but... You know what I'll do? Instead of doing, instead of what you can do is you can put out the uh, cross hatches, or like a little crisscross network of pie crust. I'm 
like that. I wouldn't make this too thick because or it'll be really tough to chew on. Or maybe what we should do for just for Easter, what we'll do. Because it's Easter. Okay, guys, we're waiting for the oven to heat up. We're going to put that on 375 for, for uh, 30 minutes. And what you want to do, you want to, you want the top to be like golden brown. So you got to after 30 minutes, take a look at it. If it's not golden brown let it go in there a little bit more and watch it until it becomes golden brown. It's on 375 top shelf and uh, we're gonna try the 30 minutes and we'll keep our eye on it. Okay guys she's done exactly 30 minutes at uh, 375 now this is gonna have to cool for about two hours so I'm going to leave it out here on the butcher block for about a half an hour. Then I'll put it in the refrigerator and uh, around 11, 11.30 tomorrow morning we'll slice it up and we'll have a piece for lunch and uh, I'll take a picture of it and this way you guys can see what the inside looks like. Okay guys after letting that sit in the fridge for probably for about four or five hours and that's some good eating right there hey if you guys have any requests because I'm going to do a pie next uh, if you have any requests of what kind of pie you'd like to see me make Tell me about it and I'll see if I can do it.